with session three of qualifying in a few moments. Yeah, so session overview for the uh, second round of the 2006 Formula One World Championship of the Malaysian Grand Prix, a weather um, defining qualifying session, um, which put pay to my qualifying after this error on our first flying lap. And as we returned to the pits, yeah, the rain came and we couldn't get out. We couldn't get a fast lap time. So let's move on to the race and just see if we can pluck up some positions from P16 here. All right, so moving on to the race here. Uh, pit stop strategy is going to be an interesting one. I think we're going to go for a long... Well, if we go for a long strategy, then we can change here the pit we stop and we're very variant. So let's move on with the race. The Malaysian Grand Prix. Sipang on the outskirts of the capital was designed to be a great challenge for the drivers with wide sweeping bends, high speed sections and tighter corners to create overtaking opportunities. The Malaysian Grand Prix is one of the most physically demanding events on the F1 calendar. There's a light drizzle falling at the moment and it doesn't show any signs of easing off. That's going to make the track very slippery. Rubens Barrichello will start from pole. This is a great chance for him to grab some points. Second on the grid is Felipe Massa. Third is Michael Schumacher. Fourth is Kimi Raikkonen. Fifth is Fernando Alonso. Giancarlo Fisichella is next to him in sixth. Jarno Trudi lines up in seventh. Jensen Button rounds off the top eight. So, yeah, a wet race. Starting from P16, cleared. so let's see what we can do, shall we? Formation lap first, just to warm up the tyres, so let's get this formation lap out of the way and then we'll get the race started, shall we? Alright, so yeah, just lining up for the start of the race. I'm just going to back up the rest of the field, just so then I don't end up, um, yeah, with very, very cold tyres in comparison to the people behind me. So, yeah, thank you engineer. Uh, so yeah, so now we are ready to get this race underway at a wet Malaysian Grand Prix. So, let's make sure we get this right. Right on pause and we're off. Here we go. So it's a good start. He's had an engine failure at someone back there. I think it's my, no, it's not my teammate. Can't see anything. Get out of this. Here come the drivers plowing into the Breaking, platform. breaking the inside. We've hit the Mercedes. Hit the Mercedes round, and then there's us round nearly. The yellow flag, green flag. We are stuck with the Toyota here. This heavy fuel is really hindering us. We're still around the outside. Breaking, breaking, breaking in. And the Toyota, we've run wide. Toys my gun round us, it hasn't yet, I'm gonna shut the door. The amount of fuel we've put in the car really isn't helping braking. Someone's in the pits already. After lap one, someone is already in the pits. I am actually very, very tempted to follow them. Right just have some third. laps on my own, but I think He's that might hinder us. So let's just stay in this pack. Let's see what we can do. So nearly forgot then to press the pit stop button. Usually on like F1 2015, you just come in. But I forgot that you actually have to press it, so thankfully I think I pressed it in time, so we should be okay. Should be okay. Still raining, so we'll still be on the wet tyre, so if we can make this early pit stop, I think it might be okay for the rest of the race. Pardon my language, but I completely forgot what to do then. Such a slow pit stop, usually it's like 7.8, that's a 9.1. So cool. Okay, so we do have a nice healthy gap. 
I mean, I had to figure out that pit stopped earlier, so we are currently fine. So let's just take these next few laps easy, and then we should be on a similar fuel strategy to the people when we catch up to them anyway, so we'll be on a similar pace. So that's fine. Okay, so there are some people in the pits, and our outlap hasn't looked too great. As you can see, we're understeering quite a lot, so let's hope our outlap is good enough to get ahead of some of these cars, which it's looking like it will be. That's fine. Alright, Ede's 19.5. Ede's actually getting away from us here. With our current fuel load. Okay, so more pit stops happening. And judging by this, I'm actually being pretty low down here. This isn't Seven looking good. You just beat your best time through sector three. Have a, we are close to Montoya. Okay, so yeah, again, a few more cars in the pits. I'm not sure we're going to jump any of them. So I'm pretty sure the guys that are in currently are just people that have already pitted. I think you're getting caught. Actually, quite concerning about our pace because our pace is not strong. This isn't a track I don't. This is a track I don't really like, but still, our pace is to be stronger than this. We're getting a small queue for me. We're in P16, so not even that high. Ah, oh, we made a mistake though. Can't get back in. We can't actually turn in. It's pushing us wide. Stop pushing us wide. <sighs> well, this is going to be an absolutely shit choice, isn't it? Let's be honest. But I think it's our team. There's a teammate here. I don't think so. Breaking. That's what we've done all race, guys. Right? Our teammate, our teammate is actually ahead of us. Oh my god. We made a very poor strategy here, haven't we? We brick for the corner, come on, come on, come on. We've actually, we've actually, this fuel load now is helping. Should we got the inside of speed? No, that's so sad. my teammate here, breaking. Now that's not gone so well, is it? And now I'm stuck on him. Oh my god, are you actually joking me? I got stuck on my teammate and now... He, I actually can't believe that. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. This, this series is just so, it's so good and yet it's so annoying all at the same time. So many incidents. Oh, well that's the end of our race. Michael Schumacher so let's look what actually got in the points. Heinfeld didn't. Uh, Toyota of Trulli actually did quite well. So who, where did the Toyota come? Other Toyota failed to finish, look at that. Wow, Alonso, one lap down. Jesus, well. This has been a very action-packed Malaysian Grand Prix. As I think the commentator was saying. Um, if you like this episode, then give it a like, subscribe for Marathon 2006, F1 2015, and what will we have from 2016 content, and I will see you guys next time. We hope you have too. We'll see you in two weeks' time in Australia at Albert Park for round three. Until then, take care.